Hey everyone, welcome back for another Naruto CCG opening. So for this video, it's going to be pretty short. I just have this set of three booster packs to open up. Uh, really cool. I got this extra item when I bought a booster box from someone online. They threw this in uh, just as a, a bonus. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, so I thought I'd open up for you guys. Uh, just three booster packs and then uh, the promo card and here's the back of it you used to be able to get promo cards with you know booster packs and uh, starter decks of course this was a decade and a half ago so obviously they don't do that anymore but let's uh, open it up and, and go through these All right, let's take a look at the promo card. So this is the foil promo number 25 to the same place. It's a mission and I'll bring it a little closer so you can read the effect. It's actually a, a pretty good card, especially if you have a Haku Zabuza center deck. Um, it allows you to play either one of them from the discard pile. So a pretty good card to have in, in that specific sort of deck. So. Three booster packs, Revenge and Rebirth, and two Quest for Power. Like normal, each pack's going to have ten cards, uh, six common, two uncommon, one rare, and then the holographic card. Uh, there's a one in six chance for a super rare. We have uh, three packs, so getting a super rare is probably not going to happen, but uh, we'll get to see what kind of holographic uh, rare cards we get. So let's start with the first one, Revenge and Rebirth. First card is going to be Genjutsu Infinite Darkness Jutsu. Next we have Palm Healing Jutsu. Then we have our Holographic Foil. It's a uncommon Naruto. That's pretty cool. It's actually the uh, pack art. So that's actually pretty cool. That's a nice pull. And it's got the diamond foil background which is really nice next is the rare it's going to be secret wood style jutsu deep forest creation the foil name after effects shadow clone jutsu amai izumo decoy and Curse Mark Jutsu. Next pack, we'll open up the Naruto Quest for Power. Uh, there is a promo sheet in the back to get your free card. So starting off, the first card is going to be the Sound Ninja 5. Then we have Sakura Haruno, our holographic uh, common is going to be Supreme Order, Diamond Foil. Then our rare is going to be Sasuke and Sakura. Then we have Boss Jirocho, Akamaru. Rock Lee, High Speed Move Taijutsu, and Desperate Persuasion. Oh, and last is going to be Ten Ten. And for the final Sasuke Quest for Power, first card will be Disappointment. Our rare is going to be Secret Wood Style Jutsu Deep Force Creation. It's a like the other one, but uh, different art. That's really cool. Our holographic rare is going to be Shikamaru Nara. Really nice. I like that a lot. Then we have Sasuke Uchiha. Bossy Attitude. Itachi Uchiha. Naruto Uzumaki. 
aerial dynamic marking, tiny reinforcer, high speed move taijutsu. So here's a quick look at all of the holographic and foil cards that we pulled from those three packs. Pretty cool. I uh, am pretty happy with what I got. No super rares, but that was to be expected. So I thought I'd also show some of the items that I just recently got in the mail. So I got some of these uh, sleeves that are specifically Naruto brand. Uh, they're pretty cool. They have the, the designs, two Naruto's, two Sasuke's, and a Gara. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, you know, if I have a couple different Naruto decks, I can use the Naruto sleeves. And I do have some extra cards that I got here in the mail, uh, specifically for a, a Toad deck that I was creating, a Naruto Toad deck. They're either cards that I... Um, needed more of or some that I didn't have and on this side I have some Kakashi they're specifically for like the ninja dog I'm doing a, a ninja dog deck with uh, Kakashi so um, and then in the middle I have these bicycle Naruto cards that are actually pretty cool I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what uh, what they look like taking a closer look at the box art we have Naruto about to perform a shadow clone jutsu on the cover on the back, we have the Leaf Village symbol. And then really cool, for the seal of the card box, we have the Ninetale seal that is on Naruto's stomach. So a cool thing about this deck is that it actually has four Jokers um, in the deck. So we'll take a look at those. We have... The first one, which is the Nine-Tailed Fox. Then we have Gara, Orochimaru, and Itachi. Really cool that they added four Jokers in this deck. I mean, if you're playing a card game, there's probably some card games out there that uh, utilize multiple Jokers or more than two Jokers. But uh, for sleight of hand or any kind of cardistry that you're doing, um, Jokers are four Jokers are always nice to have. So really cool. Now getting into the actual four suits, the meat and potatoes. Starting off, we have the spades. And a lot of these cards are going to have symbols in them, like Jiraiya's headband, um, which is pretty cool. They had a little nice touch that they add to each one of the cards. Uh, and then obviously the, the face cards are what are the coolest part of the entire deck. And, and so for the jack of uh, spades, you're going to have Naruto, um, young and old. Then you have Jiraiya and the third Hokage as the Queen of Spades. And then the King of Spades is going to be Payne and Conan. And moving on to the Diamonds, we have like Tamari's fan, uh, just a couple different, you know, scroll, headband, just really cool. Oh, that's really cool. I like the design on that. And then the Jack of Diamonds is going to be Sakura. And then you have Tsunade and Shizune. And Sasori and Dedera. And then automatically to the clubs, you got Kasami and Itachi. Kabuto and Orochimaru. And then Sasuke. And then some more symbols. Shotgun eyes. Kun eyes. And then to the hearts, you're going to have Hiden and Kakuzu. Then you got good old mom and pop of Naruto. And my favorite card, which is the Jack of Hearts, is going to have one of my favorite characters, Kakashi. Young and old. And then you have some more symbols with the rest of the cards. Sexy Jutsu. So I picked uh, two of these decks up on Amazon, I believe it was. Uh, I'm not sure. They might still have some more, but um, I'd have to take a look. There's probably some on eBay, um, maybe some other sites. But I really, really thought this was cool because one thing is uh, when you're shopping for decks or if you're at your local store and you're picking up a deck that usually is like, you know, anime or cartoon or some goofy kind of deck um, a lot of times it's really bad quality uh, in bicycle they have that nice finish on the cards that just makes everything smooth um, 
and, and so getting you know custom naruto cards that are smooth and was actually really reasonably priced uh, wasn't wasn't expensive at all uh, i was really happy about it so i thought it's a pretty good deal really like the cards so just thought i'd share with you guys just so you could see uh in case you wanted to maybe pick up a deck hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more i'll have more naruto unboxings in the future like always stay safe have a good one